Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little pants for baby girls between six and nine months old. It's part of this baby set that I'm going to show you, which includes the matching little cardigan down here in the information box. I'll leave you the link to this tutorial. I also will show you how to crochet the little bonnet and the matching little sun hat. I'm also going to make the matching baby booty, so be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this double knit baby yarn I'm using super soft baby double knit James C. Brett I'm going to use pink and for the waistband I'm going to use white if you're in the US you can use any light number three baby yarn okay so the first thing is I have 97 chains this chain here measures about 50 centimeters which is about 20 inches now to begin we're going to join to the first chain so we're going to do this so the chain is not twisted now insert your hook into the first chain right here and grab a loop so now we're joined and our chain is not twisted now here chain one and into the first chain right here this one I'm going to make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the next chain and so on for this first row i'm just going to make half double crochets on each one of the chains at the end of the first row i'm going to have 97 half double crochets continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this first row now to finish we're going to go here to the side where we have the chain and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this first row with 97 half double crochets now for the second row we're going to chain two and here we're going to flip this over like this now insert your hook into the first chain right there and make a slip stitch now for the second row chain one and in this row what we're going to do is we're going to make front post and back post half double crochets so yarn over this first half double crochet that's right there make your first front post half double crochet yarn over insert your hook like this into the next half double crochet and work a back post half double crochet into the next one front post half double crochet into the next one back post half double crochet now if you prefer to do double crochets instead of half double crochets you can i'm just going to make half double crochets so continue like this for this second row just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row. In this row, we did front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows three and four, you're going to chain one and these stitches that are here, we're going to work them in the same way. This first one is a front post half double crochet. So we make a front post half double crochet. The next one, back post half double crochet continue like this alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet now when you finish this row you're going to join here to the side where we have this chain with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat uh, this same row for one more row so i'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next okay i finished this part here here i just joined to the beginning where we had the chain um, joined with a slip stitch cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done this is going to be the waistband now with the color pink i have a loop here ready i'm going to insert my hook here into the same space where i did the slip stitch i'm going to bring this through the front and chain two one two now into the first half double crochet this one here on top we're going to make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next double crochet on top of the next and so on here for this row this is all we're going to do just double crochets all around also we're going to start counting rows so this is going to be your first row so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next 
I'm here at the end of this first row up to here I have 96 double crochets now what we're going to do here is we're going to add one more double crochet right here right in the center this is where we have the two chains so this is actually the slip stitch right there so make a double crochet right there then to finish this row go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the first row with a total of 97 double crochets now in this second row we're going to add four extra double crochets crochets so I'm going to add mine right about here I'm going to do two double crochets into the same double crochet here and then I'm going to add another one here another one here and then an, another one here so that I end with a total of 101 double crochets so continue like this for this row and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row I have a total of 101 double crochets I added my extra um, stitches here I did two double crochets here then I did two double crochets here then I did two double crochets here and I did two double crochets here so that's four extra double crochets and it gives us a total of 101 double crochets for this second row now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the third row chain two in this row we're going to work front post and back post double crochet so beginning here this first double crochet i'm going to work a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet next one back post double crochet this is all I'm going to do so continue and I'll meet you here at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this third row this is where we did front post and back post double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for rows four five and six we're going to make double crochets all around so here chain two and into the same stitch here make your first double crochet double crochet on top of the next double crochet on top of the next and so on continue like this making double crochets all around when you finish here you're just going to join to the beginning on top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch chain two and then repeat the same row so continue and i'll meet you at the end of the sixth row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this sixth row this is where we did three rows of double crochets so this is row four five and six so we're at the end of the sixth row to finish we're going to go here on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the next row we're going to do the row where we do front post and back post double crochet so this is how you're going to continue from now on you're going to make three rows of double crochets and then your fourth row is going to be your front post and back post double crochets so let me show you for row seven then you're going to chain two this first double crochet that's here you're going to work into a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet next one back post double crochet for this row this is all you're going to do you're just going to alternate between front post and back post double crochets all the way to the end when you finish this row you're going to go here to the top of the first double crochet right here join with a slip stitch chain two and then repeat these three rows of double crochets and then the fourth row is going to be your front post and back post double crochets so continue and repeat these four rows i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but i'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the 17th row so in total from here to here there's 17 rows now here what i did was i just joined here to the top of the first double crochet cut my yarn and i'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done now in the next row we're going to divide um, here the legs so what i did here is this is where we finished these are the two chains and this is the first double crochet so i counted one two three then i put a stitch marker between this stitch marker and this stitch marker here i have 46 double crochets between this stitch marker and this one here right in the middle i have four double crochets between this stitch marker and this one here i have 46 double crochets this is going to be the other leg and between these two stitch markers here there's five double crochets one two three four five so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide here this part so i'm going to insert my hook into this double crochet so it's the double crochet after this stitch marker so grab this loop with the same yarn 
chain two and into this same stitch here make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next that's two double crochet on top of the next three double crochet four double crochet five so i've done five double crochets one two three four five now we're going to go here to the center right between these two stitch markers and into the double crochet after the stitch marker this one here right there insert your hook and make a double crochet double crochet into the next that's two into the next three into the next four so we have one two three four double crochets now we're going to go on top of the first double crochet that we did here right there and join with a slip stitch cut your yarn make sure you leave um, a nice long tail I think I left a little bit here um, but you make sure to cut more than what I did here because we're going to be left with a small gap here here I just passed my yarn through that last loop we're going to be left with this gap here so I'm going to use this yarn to close this from the inside once we do everything here I'll show you what we're going to do there so this part here is done and that's what it looks like so now we're going to work on the legs so we're going to go here into this double crochet right here before the, the stitch marker right there we did one double crochet there see so into that same double crochet grab a loop chain two one two and into this same stitch here make a double crochet double crochet into the stitch after the stitch marker double crochet into the next and so on here we're going to work double crochets around this side so i'll meet you here right before the stitch marker right here to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at this other side of this first row that we did around the leg here i have 47 double crochets because i'm counting this first double crochet that i did before the stitch marker so now here we're going to work double crochets here in this center part so beginning into the same stitch where we did this double crochet right here make a double crochet so that's 48 right here where we have that double crochet a double crochet that's 49 right in the center a double crochet that's 50 and right here where we have this double crochet 51 so here right in the section i did one two three four four double crochets so now we have a total of 51 double crochets to finish this row go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this first row with 51 double crochets and that's what it looks like now here what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the same pattern we already have three rows of double crochets so we're going to make this row of front post and back post double crochets so chain two and this first double crochet that's right here make a double crochet a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet next one back post double crochet and so on continue like this for this second row just alternating between front post and back post double crochets all around i'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did front post and back post double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the second row now from here on you're just going to continue with the same pattern we did here you're going to make three rows of double crochets then the fourth row is where you do the uh, front post and back post double crochets so for rows three four and five you're going to do double crochets so chain two into the same stitch here make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next and so on remember that at the end of every row you're always going to have 51 double crochets so continue like this with the same pattern like we did here three rows of double crochets then the fourth row of front post and back post double crochets i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of the 13th row so in total i've done 13 rows one 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now in this next row, I need to do the row where we do the front post and back post double crochets. But I'm not going to do double crochets, I'm going to do front post and back post half double crochets. So here, chain one, this first stitch here, make a front post half double crochet. The next one, make a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. Continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the 14th row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 15, chain one and into the same stitch here, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next and so on. Here, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make single crochets all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 15th row. This is where we did single crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 16, we're going to work reduction. So chain one, into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Here I'm going to make a total of nine single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the next two stitches, insert your hook, grab a loop, into the next, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Now again, repeat the same thing. Make nine single crochets and into the next two stitches, work a stitch reduction. Continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 16th row. I have a total of 47 single crochets. Here to finish, we're just going to go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 17, chain one, into the next stitch, make a single crochet. Here I'm going to work six single crochets. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and then to the next two, I'm going to work a stitch reduction. So into the next stitch, grab a loop, into the next stitch, grab a loop, three loops, close. Here's the stitch reduction. Now again, repeat the same thing, make six single crochets and then work a stitch reduction. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 17th row. I have 42 single crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 18, chain one into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Here I'm going to make five single crochets. So that's two, three, four, five, into the next, insert your hook, grab a loop, into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. We're going to work a stitch reduction. So again, repeat, make five single crochets and then work a stitch re reduction again. Continue like this for this row and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 18th row. I have a total of 36 single crochets. To finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows 19 and 20, we're just going to work single crochets all around. We're not going to make any more reductions. So chain one into the same stitch here, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next and so on. Continue like this for two rows and I'll meet you at the end of the 20th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this last row here, row 20 of single crochets. I just went on top of the first single crochet, joined with a slip stitch, and then cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. Now, these baby pants are going to be a bit short. If you want to continue and make more rows to make them longer, you can. Just um, continue and maybe do four more rows and then finish at the end like this. Um, these are more like little capris for babies. Okay, so here we're going to go to this side. This is the back. So we're going to insert our hook right here. This is where we did this first double crochet um, out of these five that we did here in the center. So go into that same stitch right there, grab a loop, 
redo my little loop here like this chain one actually chain two one two and into this same stitch here make a double crochet now we're going to go here this is where we have the center stitches that we did so into this double crochet right there make a double crochet then right in the center make a double crochet then right here where we have this double crochet make a double crochet so i have one two three four double crochets then right here into this same stitch where we did this double crochet insert your hook and make a double crochet so that's five double crochets and now just continue around making double crochets just like this okay so continue and i'll meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at this other end of this first row i have 51 double crochets up to here to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row we're going to chain two and here we're going to repeat the row where we do front post and back post double crochets and then you're going to continue with the rest so here this first double crochet i'm going to make into a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet and so on continue and finish this row then you're going to repeat the three rows of double crochets and then again repeat the row of front post and back post double crochets until you finish this side i'm going to do that next and then i'll come back and show you our finished baby pants okay i finished this other side this is what it looks like i did it exactly how i did this side now if you notice here on this side i've added um, some ruffles here here at the bottom and this is what it looks like see it looks very pretty i think so if you want to do the same thing here's how we're going to do it so find where we would finish each row which is right here see these are the two chains so right here we're going to go into the row where we did double crochets and then we did front post and back post half double crochets so it would be the third row one two three See, we have three rows of double crochets one two three so this row make sure you fold this down like this so that you're you can see better where we're going to insert our hook so insert your hook there i'm going to use this pink color bring it through the front chain three one two three into the same stitch here make a double crochet then we're going to skip one two and into this next space right here um, this stitch here is actually the same stitch where we have this double crochet see right there see into that stitch right there so into that stitch there make a double crochet chain one double crochet so we're going to make these V stitches again skip one two and then to the stitch right there make another V stitch double crochet chain one double crochet then same thing skip one two and into the same stitch here a V stitch this is how I'm going to continue for this row so continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end i did my last v stitch right here then i joined here to the side where i have the three chains with this slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop i have a total of 26 v stitches so now we're going to turn this like this and we're going to go into this first v stitch this is where we finished right there so we're going to insert our hook inside this v stitch and with this color white i'm going to bring this through the front like this and chain three one two three these three chains counts as your first double crochet now inside the same v stitch we're going to make a double crochet chain one two double crochets jump to the next v stitch and inside you're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets this is all i'm going to do inside each one of these v stitches so continue like this and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished my last fan here. I just joined to the beginning here where I have the three chains with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this is how I finish this part here. I have a total of 26 fans. Now we're going to turn this like this. So right in the middle, right here, this is the last fan and this is the first one. So this is where we finish. So right there, insert your hook with this pink color, grab a loop and chain two one two inside each one of these fans you're going to make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain two between the fans right in the center right here make a single crochet two chains inside the fan single crochet chain three single crochet again chain two between fans right in the center single crochet two chains inside the chain one space of the fan single crochet three chains single crochet and then repeat the same thing this is all i'm going to do all around so continue and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, finished making this last row here. All I did was join to the first stitch with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done as well as this other side. Now here I added this little flower. I'm also going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. Um, and what I did here around the waistband is I just did a long chain. This is about a hundred, I think. Um, and all I did is just weaved it here around the waistband. So here are our finished baby pants. This is what they look like. Now, I already showed you how to make the little cardigan down here in the information box. I'll leave you the link. Also, I'm going to show you the little bonnet that I did. This is the matching little bonnet and the matching little sun hat for those of you who prefer little hats like this. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Okay, so to make the flower, what we're going to do is using a three millimeter crochet hook and using this light number three yarn, I'm going to chain 40. Into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next, and so on. Continue and work single crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets. I have 39 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain four and into the first single crochet, this one here, make one double crochet. Now in this row, we're going to make V-stitches. So we're going to skip one single crochet and into the next, make a V-stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one single crochet and into the next, another V-stitch. This is all I'm going to do all the way to the end of this second row. So continue like this and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. And that's what it looks like. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 20 V-stitches. Now for the third row, we're going to turn and inside this chain one space of this V-stitch there, make a slip stitch. Now chain three, double crochet inside the same V-stitch, chain one, two double crochets. This is what we're going to do for this row. Again, jump to the next V-stitch and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this, making these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets inside each one of the V-stitches. I'll meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this third row. I did my last fan here. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. Now we're going to go here to this other end, right here, right on top. With this pink color, we're going to go on top of the three chains here and grab this loop and chain two. one two now inside this chain one space of this first fan make a single crochet chain three single crochet into the same stitch here into that same chain one space chain two 
and between each of the fans right in the center make one single crochet. This is what we're going to do for each one of the fans. So again, chain two, inside the chain one space make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet again into that same chain one space, two chains and in the middle between the fans single crochet. Continue like this for this row and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished here at this end now. I've hidden all my ends and this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to form our flower. So here you're going to have to determine which is the right side. It doesn't really matter. It looks pretty on both sides. So I'm going to do this as my right side and I'm going to fold this like this just to form a flower. See, just roll it like this. Now make sure your center is nice and pretty like that. Now, I have some yarn here and a needle. So all we're going to do is just sew all of these layers like this, in and out from one end to the other to make sure that we grab all of the uh, layers like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do it in and out like this. That should be okay. Let's see. Perfect. Now here at the end, make sure you somehow hold this in place here. So something like this. And our flower is done.